Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to the Rail Valley. There's a new update, Build 82. It doesn't have many gameplay changes, but it does have a lot of performance improvements. I think most of the changes are in the background, so I won't go into too much detail. Uh, I think the main change is the requirement in terms of RAM. The system requirements for RAM, I think, got cut in half or even less. But yeah, it should be more accessible to people now. And we should get less stutters, hopefully. We'll see that as we go. Anyway, in this episode, I wanted to push my limits yet again. <laughs> Might not be such a good idea. So you can see here at the bottom, I have four jobs that I'm taking. All of them are going to the food factory. And this is, I think in total, almost a thousand tons in weight in mass and in terms of length let's add that up addition with clumsy 144 meters plus 188 is around i don't know 320 320 410 410 480 so almost 500 meter long train it is a pretty long train that's the one here and i followed your tips guys thank you for telling me about that that you can actually go and shunt and arrange your cars already so by the time you accept the job you're just basically moving forward no more shunting required so this is going to be uh, containers pretty safe that's the one, the one at the back right beside that are the gasoline tanks bit dangerous and the two next ones here are both nitrogen hazmat 2 level so i am pretty scared about this and it is pretty heavy and i had a very bad experience going from the harbor here because from the harbor anyway in any, any way you go it's going to be uphill and so i thought why not do an experiment i've seen this done in discord I've gotten some comments recommending this combination. A DE6 diesel loco plus a steam loco to pull the train. And in here, what we can do is I think up up here and start up the train. Is that the way you do it? Yeah, that's on. Close please. No, I want that. Oh, it's not as clickish. Alright, and then we start this up. I think we crank this three times and turn on the engine. That works. And then we go inside here because what we'll need here mainly is to synchronize it with our remote, like so. So we can control it even while we're in the steam train. Something along those lines. Let's go and put, put this close to our stuff here. Where's our shovel? Shovel is right here. Let's move that like so. Good, okay. So in here we can release the independent brake. Reverser, everything can remain as is, I think. Can turn on the lights, maybe. Not going to be as important. Horn does work. Nice. Alright. Let's get the steam train ready as well. I haven't actually attached to any of these yet. Uh, but let's see. Okay. So here, what we do is we open the firebox. We get our shovel. I'm going to load this full because this is a pretty heavy load. Five loads of coal. Light it up. Let it cook there. Let it heat up. And we'll get back to it shortly. Oh, and let's put in some water. Water should be around. 
that level. Alright, that looks good. Release also the, the independent brakes. Cutoff wheel, full reverse. But I think I can leverage the remote control in this way. So I can do something like move forward. Then I can attach to this loco. Like so. And then I can go reverse, pull it with me. Is that even working? Yes, it is working. I'm just having such a hard time though. Am I actually derailing here? Why is it not that synced? Oh, that's That looks scary actually. Wait one sec. Let's move forward. I have a feeling this is not the best alignment for this local. <laughs> like, and that looks weird, doesn't it? Combination of the ages. High tech and low tech. Both doing the same job. Alright. It looks good. Come on. Let's hope that this time it works better. Water here? Oh, look at that. It's so fast. We need to have to keep a close eye on this. <gasps> Break. Whew, that was scary. Right, break just in time there, I think. Alright, now does it look good? It still doesn't look perfect, but I guess that's just how it is. Hopefully, it will be able to pull that later. There you go, everything is coupled. Okay. Wish me luck. Anyway. First and foremost, let's check. Water is good. Still good there. I think we can heat that up a bit more, but let's go and accept the jobs first. Um, let's hope this works. Where is it? I always miss that station. Here. So we have four jobs. The jobs will be... 45 minutes time bonus. Let's start the timer here. Um, 45 minutes. That's the one. Timer starts now, so we have a bit of leeway. So accept this one. Accept this one. Accept that one. And accept that one all right good all right those are four jobs let's confirm that there's this new stats screen i think this is new active jobs four all right good off we go go back to the steam train and if needed we'll ask help from our where are we diesel train at the back looking good full forward lots of pressure you guys have been teaching me a lot about fuel economy coal economy to be more specific but the, yeah i'm not uh, off to a good start there all right anyway let's go and do that are we moving yes we are beautiful We are moving and I think we need more coal. <clears throat> there have been mixed comments about what the ideal pressure is. Uh, I'm not so sure either. I'd like to keep it as high as possible just to be on the safe side. It's not very fuel economic. But it is very safe in terms of moving your train. And especially with this kind of heavy load, 
I think it's going to be pretty important to do it that way. Right. So what I can do for now is maybe we can take a photo while everything is slow. Uh, player dot free cam toggle that way. Oh, I hate this smoothing effect. But I guess it's a matter of getting used to. Where's our train? It it feels like. Oh, where are you going, Mister? Oh my goodness, why are you going there? Okay, um, maybe at least we can take a photo. That's for the photo ops guys, like that. Isn't that a nice photo? Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> going the completely wrong way. Turn that off. Where am I? Oh yeah, it's because the update has some um, crap. The update has some um, uh, resets. Some of the jo junctions reset. And so we lost a lot of the old switches that we did before. That's fine. Do something about that. Right? Full reverse. Looking good. really feel the train struggling doing its utmost best no derailing allowed please speed when reversing you have to be a bit more careful about this ah, there's something weird with the, the game right now something with the mouse okay, let's hope it fixes itself I can hardly see the, f the back of that train my goodness So I'll probably try and do some coal saving tips later on, but I probably won't do that for now until we get clear of this harbor because it is, as I mentioned, a pretty steep slope and we'll need as much power as we can get. Pretty impressed with this train though. Even with this huge local, this diesel local, pulling it in addition, because that's an additional 100 tons, I think. In terms of weight, still doing a good job. Well, we are in even level, so it's not that bad still. Where the heck is the switch? I'm looking for the switch. Oh, there it is. Is it? Oh, it's this one. Okay. Should be coming close to it now. Good. All right. Okay. Let's do it right this time. Hmm. Something's wrong with the mouse. It keeps going out of my screen. Did they just introduce a bug there? Hopefully not. Alright, off we go. Water, coal. Where are we in terms of coal? Yeah. Love the sound of that steam train. 
you need a bit more of a push, you can tap extra power from the Loku here. But you need the reversers to be in forward. Hopefully we won't need to. That's just the backup, but we'll see. That's a full load. Get it as hot as possible. I don't want to risk it. Looking good. Push back on the cutoff field for now. Now in terms of the map, we are going to the goods factory, are we? No food factory, my goodness. <laughs> Might have gone to the wrong, completely wrong station there. It's looking good. Get more water. Yes, you might have noticed the skin on that diesel crane, an Amtrak crane. I'm trying out some mods from Nexus Mods. Okay, let's coast here. Why does it feel more unstable? I hope that doesn't persist. There we go, that's the start of the climb. So I guess we have to push a little here. Maintain 30. And I have to remember, because we have a very long train, that 60 limit will only apply when that back crane has already reached this point. So I have to be very careful with my speed. Looks good. We are maintaining our speed. That's a good thing. Not losing steam at the moment. We are starting to lose steam, okay. Let's uh, build up a bit of coal there. Forty here, that's fine, let's keep thirty. Keep the safe side. Okay. It's good. We're losing speed, we are losing a bit of speed. We need full torque here. Actually not sure what I should be doing. <clears throat> it is pretty heavy. That's full coal. Do we need some help from our diesel train? Maybe that's an ideal picture. Let's go and push. You can hear the diesel train pushing now. Getting some speed in. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool, huh? And right here. Yes. Push. Is beautiful. It's not working. That's working. Maintaining at the 20 kilometers per hour. Both trains working hard. We'll make that work somehow. Some might call it cheating, but 
and if you can do it why not and it does require additional micromanagement so it's not free come on still uphill it's fine let's go ahead and load some more pool in Starting to get some momentum, that's great. I think we can start. Cut the diesel train to idle. Focus on the steam train this time. Just a little bit of a nudge to help with the push. That looks great. It's happening on this side. Yeesh. Still uphill though. I think we'll need the diesel train a bit more again. It is a noisy loco though, isn't it? Beautiful. Need more coal? Maybe. I still am getting stutters, so it's not completely fixed yet. But I think it has improved. And yeah, I'm looking at my physical memory, my RAM consumption. I'm, it's only at 58% and I have 16 gigs, so that's probably less than 8 gigs that it's consuming. That's good progress there. There we go, that's evening out. Okay. Can it go? Thank you. let that catch up since I think we'll have to slow down here anyway maybe not fully idle water please thank you oh my goodness that's still slow yeah I have to get used to it because the even though it says but we are entering a level area. The back of the train is still on that uphill slope. So I still need to push more. It does sound weird, doesn't it? Combining the sound of a diesel train with a local steam local. It feels a bit strange. Like it doesn't quite match. There you go, alright. Let's keep that diesel train quiet now. I think from this point, our steam train can take care of it. Any junctions coming up ahead? Not really. Just have to continue this pace. Let's load it up, just one. I think we have gone past the dangerous bit. So now I think I can start trying to be a bit more economical in terms of the coal that I'm using. Cut it off to idle here. I think we can coast along pretty safely. can even see the end of the train. Almost 500 meters long. I guess e including the diesel in the steam loco, that actually amounts to 500 meters. So, last episode we had the heaviest train I've ever tried, 1200 tons. This time, I think a bit lighter but much much longer, which poses its own challenges. I am going beyond 18 bars again, which is very wasteful so we'll try to improve that later as we go forward yeah, it's slowing down again push that is beautiful isn't it nice Although we are going at a very, very slow pace. But I guess it can't be helped in this case. 
I have to be sure there is a junction coming up ahead. I have to make sure that we are turning left. Yes, turn left. The food factory and down. Yes, I think that's the safer option because the if we go right, it's a bit more uphill again. And I think there is actually yeah, there is actually no way we got lost that way before when we turned right. It has to be left. I am losing coal here. Didn't notice that. Losing pressure. And I guess overall it will not be economical because I need to. I'm using two locals when I could really just use one. But I mean, that can work. We'll make that work somehow. It's for science. So I, uh, the, the diesel loco is just like my training wheels. So I get used to driving economically on a steam train. Even if I lack too much power, then I can always use the diesel loco as a backup to make up for the, the inefficiencies. But yeah, I really feel like there's a huge power difference in 18 bars versus 15 bars steam pressure. So I, I, I'm not sure I want to keep it only at 15. Switch, make sure we are going to the left. Switch, it is going to the left. Good, alright. Perfect. Need more coal, guys. More coal needed. Come on. Oh, goodness. It's deep again. Might need some help from the local, the diesel local. Yikes. Well, I guess we could always ask it for help so we can speed up a little. There you go. Hear the struggle. Strangely enough, it doesn't seem to help that much in terms of speed. In terms of pulling power, definitely. But in terms of speed, it doesn't. It's not that much of a game changer. It adds maybe up to like maybe five kilometers per hour. Not much, considering. So how about you guys, for those of you who play as well, what do you put the pressure at? What is your ideal bars to maintain the pressure so you get the proper enough power and it's not that wasteful? Looks good. The most expensive training wheels ever. Okay, we can let go of it for now, let the pressure build up, let the speed just regulate because it is getting a bit tricky here. How are we doing on time? 25 minutes left, I don't think we're going to make the time bonus. That's okay, as long as we complete this challenge, I'm happy enough good we should be able to save speed up soon still six okay can't even see the back of the train yeah i think i'll never see it no matter how straight the path is it's just too long <laughs> goodness <laughs> 
Uh, I'm still not very good in the economy aspect, I can see. Still going beyond 18 bars there. That's fine. Yeah, I don't want to go too fast because I'm never sure what the exact speed limit is of at the back of the train, so I think it's better to play it safe. But, I mean, from the speed limits I've seen, 60 should be a safe speed, so we should be able to at least reach that. I can push forward here. Love that sound. Also, we can use up a little bit of the extra steam. There we go. that in it's good now it all makes sense because I remember in train simworld when you look at the speed limits the speed limits would only apply to you when you're speeding up when the speed limits loosen and you're allowed to speed up you're only allowed to speed up when the speed limit sign reaches the back of your train and it's the opposite when you're when you need to slow down you need to slow down as soon as you hit hit that speed limit sign as, to, as soon as the front of your train hits the speed limit sign it all makes sense now i guess it only required me to be at risk of derailing before i realized it i don't think i need to load up on coal any moment Let's have plenty of extra steam there building up now I think the next challenge is slowing down it's the longer your train the longer it takes to apply the brakes so you have to be very careful with this food factory and down I think there are less stutters now. Either that or I'm just too busy to notice. <laughs> probably the latter. No, probably both. Probably both. I think there are a lot of performance improvements under the hood. We still have stutters, but it's not that bad anymore. Start slowing down here. Expecting speed limit change soon enough. good there you go that's the 50 we are at 50 already perfect love that slow and steady nice with that we just go straight through no switches here Speed up a little again. Just a tad. And then we'll need to slow down again at some point. Mm -hmm. This one, this coming junction, there should be no switch. It's from where we are coming from, we can only turn right based on the layout and now I think I need to load up maybe just one just to keep the fire burning and just to make sure that the pressure isn't continuously bleeding off all right there we go 40 here it's good should be okay keeping it safe Yeah, I think there are way less stutters now. Because on my end. Because I can definitely feel the speed a lot more. 
before before we even get a chance to like get a handle on the speed your game will stutter already so you won't really feel it that fast so it's not that fast feeling but now because there are less stutters you can actually feel your train moving at a steadier pace increasing speed ever so slightly and yes an entirely different feeling let's slow down here keep it at 50 kilometers I'm expecting that junction will be coming up right now where we will have to set it that we move to the right Yeah, we still get stutters when there's the new area loading, but in between that, it hardly happens anymore. Okay, and yeah, sorry guys, I'm not really driving fast here. But I think it's better with this length of train that we really take it slow. Maybe we can do another episode where we go with a shorter train so we can really go fast take it to the edge of the speed limits but yeah at this point I don't think that's apt looking good applying some brakes there make sure that my train doesn't run off is that 3 I'm seeing? my goodness at five let's keep it at three just to be on the safe side it is three wow yeah that is dangerous right so here it should be okay the switches are all leading me to go straight that's like the bypass track or however you call it it should be safe there Where's our train doing? Still intact. I purposely made it so that the less hazardous materials are at the back because I, I will not be able to babysit them as much. And the more hazardous materials are right here beside me. Which might be a bit hazardous to my health, but <laughs> at least it's safer. At least I can pay more attention to it. going at a very fast speed here that might be a bad idea didn't it save 30 oh I can actually see the back of my train there is that the one yeah first time ever I saw it <laughs> that's how straight this path is nice there we go Back to 30, let's coast. And here, so even if it says 80 here, that would only apply after my, the back of the train crosses this point. So at this point, I should not speed up yet. The hard thing is, I wouldn't know. I guess, I don't know, just play it by ear or something. Stick with 30 for now. As long as we don't go beyond 30, we should be fine. Let's load it up. I'm trying to be a bit more conscious now of how much coal I load. I'm trying to not overdo it so much. Let's see if I'm learning anything bit by bit. That looks correct. Looks good. We are going beyond 30 a bit, but I think supposedly by now we should have reached that 80 kilometer mark at the back of the train. Just coast here. 
70, huh? That's fine. Okay, looks like we are headed to a straight path here. Alright, looks good. Entering a uh, heavy. Okay, leveling off. Speeds still look fine. It's good. per hour here nice yeah have to remember cannot just implement that right now we have to wait we have to wait till the back of the train reaches that point and it has not yet far from it you know by the time that my, the back of my train can accelerate i have to slow down again here we have to go to 70 again so when you're driving a long train right like this there is no choice, actually. You really have to keep it slower. Oh, look at that! I was trying to save up on coal and I'm still going beyond it. Still playing it too safe. I'm too scared to slow down. Too scared to lose power even with my training wheel at the back there. Interesting. Alright, we can speed up here a bit. Just bleed off a little bit of that excess steam. Nice. I think at 70, I'll let it go. Or should I? So I can actually speed up here. How are we doing on time? Time-wise, only 10 minutes left. Yeah, there is no way I'll make it. Might as well keep it safe and steady. So it looks like it's going to be a very long episode, guys. Sorry about that. Or not, if we explode along the way. <laughs> we'll see how far we can go. Looking good. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I see a 60 up ahead. There we go, slow it down. You don't need to slow it down that much. Just have to make sure we stay away from 60. And that should be safe enough. Actually, this is a good tool if you want to like get an accurate read of your speed. The remote should give us a nice indication. 50 kilometers per hour to be exact, our current speed. Just a little bit more accuracy there. a junction coming up ahead I should be keeping to the left and let me go apply a notch of brakes here I'm expecting that would, we would need to be approaching it at 50 kilometers per hour as with all the other junctions just to be on the safe side 80 actually it's not too bad right maybe don't go that slow 40 is slow enough. Maybe I'm playing it too safe, but the stakes are high, guys. The stakes are super high. There we go, 50. And we are... Okay, moving to the left based on the switch. Good. Alright. Can go up to 120 kilometers per hour. By the time we cross that, but the back of the train still hasn't even crossed the 50 kilometer mark, so stick to 50 to be on the safe side. Yeah, 
maybe do you guys have any tips how you know what speed limit you have given you have a very long train like this because i think at this point it's mainly just experience and i guess trial and error hopefully not too many errors there is a junction coming up ahead which i think is the wrong direction should be moving to the left there you go that would allow us to go past oil well north yes exactly good Should I load up on coal? No, let's leave it there. 16 bars. Fine. Going to really play it more economically this time. Normally, I would have load one already by that time, but... Alright, I'm trying to learn bit by bit. Okay. Now are we on speed limits? Don't see any... 70. Okay, good. It's around 50 would be the safe spot right now. Sixty. Yeah, I think now we I can do with a bit of coal, just one. So I'm pushing a bit here. Just to keep my speed going. That's beautiful. Oh crap. Uphill. One more coal. Maybe that would do the trick. Maybe let's get some draft in. Increase the temperature of that firebox faster than usual. One more load of coal. So we are slowing it down a bit. And we are losing a bit of pressure. We are losing a lot of pressure actually. Might have played it too economically. And yeah, normally when you want to be coal saving, you have to know the track very well know when the climbs are, know when the descents are, so you will not be left hanging. I think I'll need some help from our friend. of this let the coal steam build back up and fully rely on the steam train for now maybe that's one thing like a substitution a relay and then when the steam builds back up i can then help again but right now i've switched to idle for the steam train all the load is being taken by the diesel local at the moment See, there is a junction coming up ahead. Yeah, the train itself, the diesel train, is actually having a hard time right now. Almost full power. And still, it's struggling to push us along. Interesting. Let's get one load in here. Okay, I think that's good. We can take over now. Get back to steam. Get that more torque, please. Oh my goodness, that's heavy. Now we need both. Oh, that's really steep. Goodness. Oh, 
50 kilometer up ahead we should be moving to the left yes press the switch move to the left and slow it down slow it down bro idle everywhere looks good 30 kilometers and slowing down Perfect, keep it there. Just coast along. Take it easy. Look in front. No problem, okay. You can afford to speed up a little. Just a tad. Burn off that excess steam. is actually dangerous 40 kilometers going down I'll probably switch to idle now look at that that's the end of the train guys <laughs> you can see it from the side right here that's how long our train is oh my goodness yikes that's scary Right, where are we? Good, that's the right turn. Looks good as well. Coast here because I think the back of the train still has a 30 km per hour speed limit. So better to control it. Play it safe. Because this is the infamous place where I derailed the first time and not only derailed but exploded if you want to see that go back to the first no fourth episode in the series playlist should be in the video description playlist link keep it 30 keep it 30 two notches looks good i'm going yeah, I'm, I'm spending too much steam still. It's either too much or too little. It's hard to put it right in the middle. Is that just trying? <laughs> okay, so I had to start looking here. This is the first one that we will be dropping off. We will drop this off on... Wait a minute, I'm slowing down. No, please don't. No. at 30 C4I what's that that sounded a bit different than usual did I just derail or something did my water run out maybe or I don't know coal ran out we'll see soon enough but that was scary no, I don't want to load more coal. I have so much already. That's a bit panicking though. That bell was a lot longer than usual. Not sure if I missed anything. Alright, so... Uh, C4I was it? Let's just coast along here. Maybe one notch of brakes because I'm still not sure which point my, the back of the train is at right now um, so C4I station map food factory okay C4I all right so we can we'll be coming from the northeast C4I is straight ahead from the northeast you guys see it that's the one from the northeast we make it straight through there you see the dot where in the middle of the screen is C is there so that's the first drop C4I the rest of the the other jobs we worry about later let's see so timer I guess oh that's a timer that's a timer you guys probably knew it already that scary bell was the timer we ran out of time already so no time bonus for us but as long as we make it in one piece, I should be 
happy about it. What is this track? Ooh. Going too fast, bro. There we go. Keep it manageable. Moving to the left. Okay, that's good. That's good. C4I is straight ahead, I think. To the left, to the right. Well, actually, I think this might be wrong because C4I is right there. Yikes, okay, stop, stop. C4I is right there. Yes, that's the one. So we missed it by a hair. And I guess this is where the diesel train would also be able to help. A bit better shunting. I can use it for shunting. But for now, let's use this up. Come on. Push it. Let's stream steam out and about. Love that sound. And yeah, I guess I can use this one. No, 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 no. Reverse. So the steam train takes care of the the straight. Path. The actual route in the diesel logo takes care of the shunting fancy. So we can make use of the remote. That's a good combo. Maybe not the most economic solution, but that can work. Alright, so it's C4I over here. We drop it off. Uh, so I should actually have gone through here and moved to the right instead of left. And then from here, I should move to the left. And there I should go right. That should lead me to C4I right there. Perfect. Okay. Looking good. Get some train brakes in. That's too much. No. That brake is a bit too much. Come on, come on. My goodness, this is heavy. Stay away because that train is super noisy. Maybe we also need a bit of push from the Steam logo. Double team this. I like this concept though. Making use of multiple logos to help with the job. Okay, that looks good. Junction is right here. Now we say go to the right. Good. So, forward. Why is it easier to go to move forward? Much easier to move forward. Looking good. some exercise ouch looks good guys right 
keep it going. C4I, that's for the first top here. Uh, one sec. C4I, not the, the, uh, that's the one, C4I. The next one. Yeah, I guess it will take a while before we get there. Actually, not sure. I hope nothing's in front of us there. Risk of crashing. Let's have a look. Double check. That's the train. In front, there is nothing. Okay, good. Alright, let's go back again. Okay, we still haven't seen the start of the box cars. <laughs> That's how long this train is. <laughs> My goodness. Alright, so uh, let's have a look at the next one. These tankers, where should we deliver this? These tankers have to go to C6I. Okay, not too bad. Right here, right beside. So I guess we can drop off the box cars there. Go straight, reverse the tankers in. And then we'll worry about the nitrogen stuff later. Okay. Local remote. Wait a minute. I'm actually losing range already. My train... The remote range is not enough. Almost out of range. You can see the flights flicker flickering a while ago. Alright. Yikes. Yeah, see? It goes blank. Alright, almost there. I think we can go and apply full brakes now. should be good I think. Isn't it? C4I? Yeah I think so. Let's try. Let's try delivering it. Uh, so that's this one. Done! Only 9k? But no damage anywhere else. That's good. Let's make sure we get the money. 9k. I'll take that. And now we can then go straight. Now because these jobs are very varied, we, can, we now know exactly where it ends. These cars look very different from each other. So no problem there. Looks good. Alright. So let's go and push forward. Continue. Now we're in range again. Release the brakes. Why do I have throttle in there? Okay, and now we can move forward. There's the front of the train, that looks good. This is how useful having a remote can be. Should be leaving the boxcars behind. Yes, okay, looks good. I can actually stay here, I guess. I can see everything still. It's still pretty long, isn't it? Goodness. I'll have to go forward much, much more. And the train will actually reach that part inside the tunnel already. <laughs> so weird. So C6I is right here. And that merge should be somewhere. Let's go down here. Hmm. So the, here we should be moving left. And that one should be moving to the right. Okay, slow down. This one should be moving to the right. That's C6I. Right there. You're breaking right in front of the switch. That's good. Move to the left. Perfect. Release the brakes. And off we go. I like this diesel steam combo. Perfect for journeys and shunting. And you have enough power for both. Might be more expensive on the maintenance though, but I mean, at this point, it's not really about money. It's more about achievement. Looks good. Let's maintain that speed. As we are pushing these cars, 
it's a bit more fragile, so I think it's better we slow down a little. Take it easy. Alright, next job is this one. This one goes to C4I as well. Huh, interesting. How does that work? We won't have enough space. I'll have to push it I'll have to push the boxcars out of the way, I think. Well, we'll worry about it later. That's the end of the tankers, the gasoline tankers. And C6I should be starting. Let me squeeze in there. That's C6I. So I think we can go and break here already. That should be good enough. Nice. I'll detach this manually because it's easier. Hey, remove that. There you go. It's good. And then release the brakes. Move forward. Uh, reverse her forward. My bad. Let's make sure that's the 23 job that says right there in front of that car. 23 should be going to C4I indeed. Okay, good. And before that does happen, see that there. Let me go ahead and submit this job first. Get that out of the way. Ouch. Uh, right here. Perfect, that's the gasoline. That's 58,000. Oh, don't, don't forget the money. Don't forget the money. And don't forget my train. Where the heck's my train now? <laughs> Gone with the wind. One sec. Don't go too far away. Okay, I think that should be good. Where was it? Stop, stop, stop. Where was CC for I is here. Oh yeah, I've gone way, 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 way past where I should be. Rigs. Sorry. My bad. It should be that one, C4I. C6I going that way, turning right, turning left. C4I is where we'll be landing there. Okay, perfect. Alright. Release the brakes. Reverse. And go back. There we go. And then at the end of this all, we'll go and observe how the fuel looks like for the diesel and the steam train. And if we just negated all our income that way. We're getting so much expenses. So C4I is right here. Double check that we are going there. C4I. Yes, exactly. Taking it easy. Now here it's a bit more tricky. You have to know the car numbers. The registration numbers because these are both nitrogen. So this should be 521 is the end. This is 521, so four, until 402 is where we should. Wait a minute. Let me double check that. Are we approaching that car at a super fast speed? No, we're okay. Six, five kilometers per hour. We can just nudge that car along. Should be fine. Now, this job would end in um, C402. One sec, huh? let me just double check this other one. Yeah, this is all C4I actually, so all of them are C4I. So what I just need to do is to <clears throat> do the, some kind of, just nudge along, oh wait a minute. Oh, my bad. Where, oh, the, the car for C4I is actually way back there still, no, no problem. I have plenty of space, good. Hmm. Right, let's coast here. Do we have enough space or will I have to nudge along that guy? Let's double check. 
still far away from him. I uh, can't see it from here, but that looks good so far. So I think we can start breaking here. I don't think we need to put it so much on the edge. Good. Looks good. Yes, perfect. That is perfect right there. Awesome. Alright. So let's go then and deliver these two last jobs. So how much did we earn? 58k plus 9k, that's 67. 67k plus this one would be 23. 67, 23. What is that? 80? 90k? So that's 90k money and the last one would be 19 so that's 109k wow took us 62 minutes but it was pretty exciting stuff so we now have 395,000 what did we start with I don't know probably 280 something like that 290 cool so let's just have a look at the diesel how it's looking like the diesel and steam situation and we can power this down now actually how do you turn this off again i think you're just here there you go guy seems pretty mad banging the doors all over the place okay it might have been the wrong sequence but fine let's have a look at the fuel fuel is um, where do you find that fuel should be somewhere here there you go oh that's not bad yeah barely any scratch there in the fuel department three fourths more than three fourths looks good have a look at steam this might be the one that we used up a lot more so here oh yeah i guess that's more than half of the water but still plenty of coal yeah i just need to be more mindful of my my consumption here let's put the fire out There you go, no more fire. Still a bit of embers in there, and then we can let go of the steam. Steam dump, that looks so good. Don't the tra steam trains do that oftentimes? Once they reach their destination, they would then dump the steam immediately. I think that's best practice. So you don't continue polluting the uh, environment. Great stuff, guys. Awesome. We did it. Sorry for the long episode, but hope you enjoyed that. That was a success in my books. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. And uh, looking forward to your comments. Have a great day, everybody, and clumsy training. Bye-bye.